Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate you all for your support in this my channel. May Almighty God bless you all. So my people, that this particular update that I want you guys to just listen and hear what Mazina, the colonel's wife said concerning Simon Epa. So you guys know that many Biafrans, like many Igbos, are supporting Simon Epa because of what he's doing. And many are against him. So we even accuse him of being behind the insecurity that is going on in the Southeast. Some even accuse him of working for Nigeria government, which we are not even sure, my people. Like, this matter is really, really serious. Just take a listen. This not pure water. water. That means, in Latin, so is ad hominem, ad hominem fallacy, is a psychiatric disorder. When, rather than looking at the argument the person is having, the context of the content, or the content rather, you 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 attack the person based on other things, even a mental problem. That's number one. So, back home, what is going on is, and they mandibani as well, our people, when they hear that, how much will I get today? So, you can live again, 50k a day. As in, not the Kwa Keba Kanga, you can get a wire, to you, she and a make a hammer on competition, or you can keep the Yuri Pam oil. This not pure water. Yeah, I'll quan now your dog, I'll quan your pure water. I'll order for Kaka and Giri now. So, now, the, the the criminals who used to kidnap and they no longer i mean the 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 environment was no longer favorable for them and they left east they left biafra land this criminal um entity or criminal section of of um a starting group i'm coming to that as well in a split second they they get money and they give to those people so this will kidnap for them. Yeah. So don't think that they have any followers or any they've, they've caused mayhem because no she that believes that now what can give them money now is nothing else but kidnapping have joined the chorus. So now the kidnapping. If you recall years back. He had a that they kidnapped her mother that time. Even oh, you just basket that car, you know. They kidnapped her daughter. I asked her how she managed to go. How she bring that car? She gave them a basket of that car, and that was when this nonsense was 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 um emerging. Yes. So hold that. That is what is going on in the east now. My brother-in-law, someone working for him, was coming with a worker, a jide hanozo. In any more state, one of was under the budget. You say, Oh, he he won't name the can. He 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 won't. Sorry, eh, it's so eh. I say, Gonna decide. He won't name us. Eh, he na gebe. We say no one even care. We are not going. Our budget, you know, budget only. We go so. No, but but don't name us. But but don't only. But only. But budget, you know. You know. So keep that aside as well. Some people have of that a kidnap on her. They kidnap these people and then they ask for or request for, for, for ransom. Now, where does the exchange take place? The back of the military checkpoint or police checkpoint. Also hold that. Now that should align you or allude that to what Abacha once said that any insurgents that lasted for 48 hours <laughs> take it to the bank. Like a government in there. I've always said that, even before I became aware of Abacha's um, statement, I have always known that I said to myself that any location, any environment, the people come together, so we are forming vigilantes. Such thing can never happen in our village. Go around there, go and make your survey. Such thing will never happen. Any environment, the police force or whoever said there will be no crime here, go and check it. There will be no crime. Why can't you go to Asaro that may kidnap on that on that um around that DSS connecting to the why why can't you go that may kidnap? Ghana never gonna make kidnap now. 
So the kidnapping stuff going on in the East, these criminals are working with some politicians, the government in Noya. Which will then take me to the, the leader of these kidnappers, these terrorists, yeah? This little imbecile Nona, Nona Finland. For years, he has managed to call my name. Uh, after I'm that boy, Toyo Poma. So, but that, let's leave respect. Let's leave age by the side. He has managed to call upon Namdekano. You, 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 you said Namdekano is your, you are his disciple. You are the kind of disciple. You insult his wife. You insult his child. You insult his family. You insult his structure, IPOB. Now, let me address him. For years, I've just alluded or connected or just talk about their nonsense, um, automatic stupidity that they're into. And that was not enough. In fact, it was enough for me because he's a child. He's a little child to me. Now, he behaves like a little child and I saw you know these naughty children now but many names will have a lot of where we if you knew such children in their village Mazi you know growing up hey, and they were naughty children then so this person when you, you, you you're having a shower or whatever somebody calls and says well you know when I hear you girl for us I'm coming now he will jump out and come and talk and 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 speak rubbish Number one, he's not comprehensive enough. He's not, he's not comprehensive, one. And I managed to connect that to Trisnomi 21. Mazi, I want people to check what Trisnomi 21 is. T for Tango, R for Romeo, I for India, S for Sierra, O for Oscar. M for Mama, Y for Yankee, 21, number 21. Now, that is a genetic disorder. If you look at this little boy, that disorder, and that makes him behave like, what is that disorder? Is a portion, is a, is a third chromosome 21, you know, when it happens to a person, that person will have a moderate intellectual disability, growth retardation, and some you know, characteristic facial and um, facial features. So if you look at this boy in Finland, you will see that he escaped that disorder. Now, with all due respect, Dunde were Trisnomi 21, because in this country, Mazi, if you go to the supermarket, you will see them working there. If you go to a bank, you will see them there, they're doing one thing or another. You go to them, uh, the, the, the council, you will see them doing some jobs, doing something, pushing some stuff. Why is that the case? Because they have been trained in this country and in has special care. Yeah, they, they have a special schools. Thank uh, you. Even though it's a form of uh, learning difficulty, but they have been so well trained and mannered that is almost concealed and their characters sometimes can be very, very, you know, impeccable. Thank and you, I, just want, I, just want, I just want to add to what you said. Uh, the the Buffon in, in Finland is an intellectual dwarf. He's got nothing to offer, absolutely. They're not, yeah, not really, but that's official feature, um, um, features. So if you look at this boy in Finland, yeah, you would see that that is his special features. So he escaped by 25% now to analyze that that is why i don't pay him no attention but i will come to him in it i will i will feed i will round up in a, in, a, in a short minute because of that because he escaped had he had trisnomy 21 with all due respect to the um trisnomy 21 um children they are sensible how am i here now just like as you have confirmed they are trained so they behave like human beings they are, they are okay they're feeding into the society and behave <laughs> civilized. So because Onye Kamere escaped from the from the disorder, I'm not even knowing how. So he was not given that special care. Uh, oh, he, 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 he couldn't have gotten it from the zoo where he escaped from. Thank you. As, as, the, as the animal he is, we know how. I I for what know how he ran away Thank from you. the zoo. 
So he's and running around all over the place number one he's working for the zoo government this is the first time i'm calling nigeria zoo in fact to be honest with you i don't I'm, i don't i don't throw names no, he's working for the nigerian government so his sense is number number two my husband for those of you who are deaf where is that boy from and now that should tell you that boy has only uh, he, maybe he's affiliated his through his mother's lineage to to Ebony. Take it to the bank. Keeping all of that aside, he's running around like a little child that is not a trained in his village or hometown. Before you know he's insulting in Namdi. Yes, no, no, you are very correct. When uh, when we come on radio Biafra, we introduce ourselves. And say we, the village or town where we come from, and the province in Biafra land, this people has no identity. Mm -hmm. so, so no originality. Yes. So he just appeared from wherever he appeared from, having this disorder and sobu that can allow him to to reason like a prior human being. And he's bringing you Biafra. Yes. He's bringing you Biafra now. Maybe, maybe it's the cousin of Tinubu too, because Tinubu has a similar, similar identity crisis. Thank you. So now you're fighting from Nam the Kano, yes. You could be fighting that now in your family. Like in family squabbles, where you're having um, issues, and then maybe one of the family, um, the other family, your opponent, comes and takes your father uh, away. Then he gave me. You go to their house to rain fire and brimstone, isn't it? Would you fight your siblings? You begin to burn it down because somebody came and took your father? Is that what you would do? That is the height of criminality, the height of impunity, and the height of wickedness. And foolishness. So it shows that you're not a member of that family. Yes? Because you would want to protect that home and go and fight for the release of your father to recover your father from wherever he's held yes so that is me answering that part now on the part of the intellectual disability and the stupidity and you know, creating nuisance on social media i and ipov we and then on the Kano and his family we are fighting the government we are busy and i for one there's another little rascal lady that likes to call my name there's nonsense going on now that i'm the kind of nigerian government wants to release him to come and uh, destroy what uh, somebody psychiatric hospital to examine that the nonsense that shoots out from their mouth you wonder is this a oh no 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 so if the can is released today, I guess he's coming to destroy. What what is that monkey? What is he doing? He's not doing anything. He is causing kidnapping. He's the leader of kidnappers and terrorists in Biafra land. He is destroying Ali Ibo. And that trial I will after him. He said, he said, he said. Now conclude on our two attention scenes. I want his I want his mates. Number one guy here. That's one, two. A whim time. So we are busy resisting government. We are resisting the US government. Where UK government is busy playing pepper tiger and playing like they don't know what they're doing. Meanwhile, they're doing a lot to us. And we are fighting on that front. You think you think it's by, by going to war? What can you sustain war with? You can. So we go with our brains. We find the loopholes and we present it. Otaka get make it there. Biafra will come and then the cannon will be released and all the people who are held in illegal um, detention and unknown places by the Nigerian terrorist government, they will be released. That is how we will go about it. So I am busy and burdened by the weight of our people. And I cry to God every night to please help us that our people not perish, that they be protected and guided by Okike and the universe. So I've mm -hmm. been busy now on all fronts See? to make sure See? that our people are protected and resisting governments. 
because had it yaka in our life in a lot of places and i tried to resist so i didn't wow. visit the meetings and the government and resisting evil both spiritually politically and otherwise therefore you do not have the time to respond to him neither does not the Kano's family all of us like we don't have the time to respond to him now having said that this is one of get responded to him we haven't that we came to respond to him because that is his age that he is like an eight-year-old naughty child and then that we came to, you know little children into place he puts them in order if you misbehave you put in order so to prove to you that now onya is not intellectually able I will, I will present him that we can Nam the Kano's family will present Nam the uh now uh we can go Kano to them to him and his minions, his fellow imbeciles, yes, with their unactivated frontal lobe, because they're all criminals anyway. So now we came will will have a challenge. So I have a full blown broadcast on the twenty second of September. So between now and then, he should face the challenge. Yeah, Kayana now became Baria now because now became has time. Now became the very busy. So they can have a challenge on subjects whatsoever. I put my he's a Biafra leader or Kayana to exile government because Sorry, I think prime minister. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, exile government. No, I went three in diaspora. I went one in America. We Yaman we are the last person that emerged. Uh, there were two before him i believe so now became he's the prime minister so we ipob is setting a challenge between the prime minister of exile and government and then Sorry, became, Lord, crime crime minister yes prime minister somebody, went, became, out, uh, somebody went out somebody went out yeah prime minister man, eh? <laughs> yeah. you have to be knowledgeable in a lot of areas isn't it so um yeah you debate politically with your opponent so now we don't we don't have time so nabi kim has all the time in the world so they can debate nabi kim nabi kim what is 15 times 7 105 105 uh, so if i bet you before enough answer that in 10 seconds Hi. and then nabi kim just get the answer in less than 1.2 seconds so what is <laughs> if you turn 105 into um time what is that if you put it into time which amount of time which amount of time hey what amount of time would I, what amount of time would i give you not in days because i know that will go into days uh minutes yeah minutes how many minutes would i give you well one one hour and 45 minutes one hour 45 minutes thank you Nabikim. you can go back to your room now thank, thank you so much, much Nabikim. you, you, you so will have a yes. so you have a minute that you will teach yeah All the way so let's try to have one hour 45 minutes challenge within that became on seven subjects now he's in his intelligence yeah so the 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 competition or challenge would be based on one economics two politics three history yes of countries now for geography you need to know your you, you know any the, the the country you want to work with your allies yeah you need to know about them so for geography yes five um what is five now um d -d 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 what is five now so you have um reasoning uh what's this reasoning thing um qualitative and um quantitative analysis yeah so that is six yes and uh, five is qualitative analysis six is, is quantitative you, you analysis. Even history it doesn't know okay the, have i i think i've called history Marzi. okay so yeah so economics politics economics politics history geography qualitative analysis quantitative analysis these are verbal they're not verbal reasoning isn't it so all, as well add basic mathematics and basic, also thank you Marzi, because you know for those, for those people because in Excel, are always grammatically rubbish Thank you. So, if you pivot all these um, six um, subjects, uh, topics rather, fields, then let's cap it with math basic mathematics to pivot. You know, when you pivot, so they can run all their analytics and um, result again with that. So, that's why we have to add basic mathematics. Now, this is seven topics. Yes. Let the crime minister 
have challenge with him now. But now became is eight years old and he behaved like a little child. So now became is equal to him. So let them have that conversation and challenge. So if all the, if he's um, feeling okay, they can tap it with using a musical instrument like guitar <laughs> or piano to to yeah. garnish. Yeah, or talk eager for that. They can play chess together. So Nabi, yeah, IPOB and then the Kano are presenting in Nabi came for uh, you know to tell uh, you know uh, it, I mean presenting in Nabi came for a challenge between IP IPOB and the so-called imbecile that is intelligent enough to have to be a prime minister. A prime minister, I have no clue what that means. So and that is uh, uh, no, no, let me let me so, sorry, ma, let me allow you catch your breath, have a little sip of water, and um, I may add, I know you've it, really done just Let me finish, right. and then you can, let me okay. finish this. So, um, in, this, in this seven topics, Nabi Kim has given us the time, it is one hour for five minutes, so it is 15, that's 15 minutes each. Okay. Thank you, so that is their challenge. If he lacks Five minutes. That is all. That is the only answer I have for him and his fellow fools, imbeciles. They have no stance whatsoever. IPOB is all over the world. We are who we are, and we are indestructible. They were formidable. All you auto criminals, buffoons, morons that keep yapping your mouth about DOS this, DOS that, um, law law, which actually this, and all the nonsense you're, you've been spewing, using the sacred name of Biafra and IPOB to commit criminality, you now have a challenge with eight-year-old Nabikem Okukano, son of our great leader, Oyen Dumas and Landekano. Hmm. My people, there is fire on the mountain. I hope you guys heard everything Mazin and the Colonel's wife said here. Anyway, it's not surprising because most of people have been saying this, that uh, Simon Ekpa is behind the insecurity that is going on in the Southeast, which uh, Simon Ekpa have come out like countless times to debunk the news. But there's something Mazin and the Colonel's wife said here that uh, many of uh, Simon Ekpa's supporters, they are saying that uh, if federal government release Mazin and the Kano, that uh, Mazin and the Kano is, is going to, you know, destroy what Simon Ekpa is doing. Like that particular statement, I don't get it, honestly. That one is really off me. If there is any one of Simon Ekpa's uh, supporters that are saying all this, I think it's not proper, my people. Because the utmost concern of Igbo's right now is how Nan the Kano will gain his freedom. How he will come out from that DSS custody. So anyone working against Mazin and the Kano freedom, in the name of if Mazin and the Kano come out that he's going to destroy what Simon Ekpa is doing, I think uh, that particular person is the enemy of Igbo's. Yes, which I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section about all this whole thing that is going on between Simon Ekpa and Mazin and the Kano's wife, and as well as what she said in this particular video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section respectfully, and please, if today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it as well. Thanks so much for doing so. And I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye for now.